Hi there, Paul C from WZ2K here, taking you through another little Lightroom tutorial and tips. What we're going to take a look at in this quick video is how you can work with the collections inside Lightroom to organize your photographs into logical structures. Now the beauty of using collections inside Lightroom is the fact that you can actually have one picture that can be available in multiple collections. The real benefit to that comes into the fact you're not having multiple copies of that image, just multiple references to the image inside your collections. So it's a great way of setting up your photographs into logical structures. Now for me, I tend to work with a year, a month, and then actually a photography session. Now obviously I can work with other ways I could introduce things like macro as a collection or live bands as a collection. And like I say, with Lightroom, the beauty of that is the fact that I've only got one copy of my image. Add into that things like virtual copies, and you can see the, the real power and flexibility that you have with Lightroom over something like Photoshop, where you're limited. So let's take a little look at how we set up a collection, and we'll take a look at how we can actually reference images into multiple locations within those collections. As you can see, I've got some images open inside Lightroom 4. And if we take a look on the left-hand side, you can see that I've got a couple of collections already created. And as I mentioned earlier, I organize most of my images into the year, into the month, and then actually into the photography session. Now I could go even further with that. I could create additional folders inside there for edited and non-edited versions. There's lots of things you can do, and obviously it comes down to your own personal preference. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at how we can use these photographs of a macro session I did and actually create a new folder that references these images a second time. So all we're going to need to do is go to the Collections panel, click the plus arrow, and we've got a couple of options. We've got Create Collection, Create Smart Collection, and Create a Collection Set. Now a Collection Set is much the same as what I've got here, where I've got the 2012, January, and so on. It's a set of collections, or a group of collections. And it's a way of organizing your collections. Now, introduced into Lightroom 4 was the ability to put collections or collection sets inside collection sets. Previous to that you could have a collection set that could only contain collections which was kind of a limitation that you had with it which I'm really glad they actually introduced that into Lightroom 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new collection set and we're going to call that macro. Now you can see we've got the option there to create a top level or to create another collection set inside a collection set. For this instance, we're going to keep this to a top level collection. Click on Create. So you can see now, in addition to my 2012 and Smart Collections, I've now got a collection called Macro. I can expand that, and obviously I've got nothing inside there just yet. But if I right click, I can get Create a Collection Set or Create a Collection. Alternatively, I can come up to the top, click the plus again, and create a collection. So let's do that. Create a collection. We want to put that inside a collection set. As you can see, we've got the option to put in any of the collection sets we've already got created. For this example, we want to put inside the macro collection set. So we've now got a collection. Now, as you can see, there's a difference in the little icon that's utilized with regards to a collection set and a collection. A collection set looks like a box that you can put other things inside where a collection sort of shows a stack of images. And that kind of represents exactly what you're doing. So we've got our collection set of macros. We've got our collection. Now you can see that inside there we've got no images, obviously. So what we're going to do is if I come up to expand my January where I've got all my garden macro shots, I can click on there. And what I can do now is I can select any or all of those images and place them into the collection. So let's just say all these images that I've got marked off in red and actually starred. So to the top and say we want to use all the images that are rated. So we've got this uh, this handful of images. So now I'm just going to select all those images and I can drag those down into my collection. And once I let go, I've now got seven images inside there. They're not taken out of the garden macro set. And let me just get rid of the Rating a second, turn the filters off. So you can see if I go back to my macros, you can see I've got all 53 images are still in there. If I go to collection, only the seven that I wanted inside there. So it's an easy way of referencing those images in multiple locations, which allow you to categorize your images into any way that you would want. Now obviously by default this has created a collection called collection, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. 
So if I right click on that, I can now choose rename and we'll call this one Cool Macro Shots. Click rename. And that actually now makes a bit more sense. So hopefully what you've seen with this quick five minute tip is how you can quickly and easily create collection sets and organize your images into logical sort of collections that work for you as a photographer. I hope you found this quick tip useful and uh, we'd love to see you by the WZ2K forums and the website. Pop on over, leave a comment or a message and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.